I was asked by Chairman Forrester to chair the Committee on Affirmative Action and the Delegate Selection Committee to ensure that this delegation was the most diverse and most representative in Tennessee's history. And I'm proud to stand here today and tell you we achieved that goal. This delegation has set fair, representative goals of women and men, African Americans, Latinos, people with disabilities, and LGBT Americans. We should stand tall and proud that we've sent a representative and diverse delegation to this great city. We set a tough and ambitious goal because as Democrats, we know that diversity is more than a talking point. We not only met the goals, we exceeded them. And when I look at this room, I see Tennessee. And when I looked out at the convention floor last night, I saw the United States of America. Health care is the building block of all sustainability. If I am not well, I cannot go to work. If I am unwell, I don't have the energy to care properly for my children. And also, if I am not well, it's just a drain on my emotional resources. And so the idea that health care is finally accessible to all, that it is illegal for women to be charged more for the same services, is good for the state of Tennessee. And it's up to each of us to share that information embedded within our personal stories to our neighbors and to our communities. Because that's ultimately how we will spread the hope of President Obama's next four years. We will build from the person out, not from the top down. When you look at the fights that we have to take up in our cities, someone asked me about the voter ID challenge. They said, what if you lose? I said, no, 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 that's not the question. The question is, what if I don't fight? That's what it's all about. It's not what we do in our cities. The virtue, the very virtue of being a big city. And Mayor Ruggiero will tell you, Mayor Dean will tell you, and all the other mayors tell you, we wake up every day knowing that we're going to have to fight for our very existence. I know that courage, I know that spirit is deep down inside every American, every Tennessean. It's only up to our leaders as opposed to looking deep down inside, trying to find the worst in everybody. Wake up every day as I do in the city as opposed to looking for enemies, looking for friends, looking for confidants, looking for companions, and look in the mirror, not trying to find the worst, but look in the mirror every day and say that I know that deep down inside of me, there is a better person just waiting to be born. It's not for me to give a bad example. I am to be the midwife that reaches down, deep down inside of everybody and brings out that best person, that better person, who deep down inside all of us in our great nation is just waiting to be born. Yes. They mean business. You gotta hand it to them. They're not playing games. They get the power, my friends, they will use it. And Social Security, privatized. Medicare, voucherized. Workers' rights, oh, gone. They'll do it. They'll do it. They are blatant. They are telling us what they will do if they get the power. It's not going to be a secret. And that's what we're up against. And that's why this election is the most important presidential election in any of our lifetimes. And that's why over the next 60 days, my friends, we've got to work our hearts out for this president and vice president. And we've got to do everything we can possibly do to make sure that the oligarchs and the plutocrats the Carl Roves and the Koch brothers, the Adelsons, can't buy our democracy. It's not for sale. I tell you, I have to confess, I enjoyed the Republican presidential primaries. I thought that they were, the, they were for, for a long time, my favorite reality show on television. <laughs> I was sad to see it end when finally there was a, everyone was voted off the island except for Mitt Romney. <laughs> And, uh, and armed with nothing but his trusty Etch-a-Sketch. Uh, 
He then had three days to try to do his reinvention, and now we have three days to bring us back to the true reality, which is that our economy is getting better, not worse. Our country is getting stronger, not weaker. We're moving forward, not back. And we're doing so because of Barack Obama.